So you may be asking yourself, where can expressions actually be used? Any property that has a keyframable value can accept an expression. Just look for the stopwatch icon next to the property name in the timeline panel, and we'll use this a lot throughout the course. First, we're going to have to find the property that we want to add an expression to. In this case, all you have to do is go to the rocket null layer and hit R on your keyboard to open up the rotation property. Now for this specific case, we're going to rotate this rocket around the planet, which is going to require us to work with the Z rotation. The first and probably most common way to add an expression to a property is to alt click the stopwatch or option click the stopwatch on a Mac. As soon as you do this, you'll notice a default expression has appeared in our expression field and the expression references itself, transform Z rotation. You'll also notice that expression tools are now available to use and the property value turns red, indicating that the expression is affecting this value. Okay, great. You've added your first expression and you're now an expression master. This concludes the world of expression. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We've got a long way to go. Okay, so you can remove an expression the same way you added it by alt left clicking or option left clicking on a Mac, this stopwatch icon again. When you do this, it removes the expressions text from the expression field it disables the expression tools that we had here, and it changes the value back to its default color. Another way to apply an expression is with the animation top level menu. To do this, you want to first highlight the property you want to add an expression to, and you want to navigate to the animation top level menu and go down to add expression. When you click this, it will add a default expression. It will give you your expression tools again, and it's going to change the property's value red. And the final way to apply an expression to this property is with a keyboard shortcut. So with the property selected in the timeline, you're going to hit shift alt equals or shift option equals on a Mac. And this is going to give you your familiar default expression, the expression tools for this property and the property's value will turn red. There will be times where you need to temporarily disable an expression without actually removing it using the stopwatch. To do that, you're going to come over to the Enable Expression button and toggle it on and off. And you'll notice that it turns the value from red to its default color, indicating that the expression is turning on and off for this property. But the expression is gonna stay right here in the expression field, so you're not actually deleting it. Nearly every expression will require manual text entry at one point or another. The expression field is where this happens and it's the large text field next to the property on the timeline. You can resize the height based on how many lines of code you need, and After Effects will automatically try to resize this for you. The expression field works just like any other text field. You can highlight text, you can copy using Control or Command C, you can paste using Control or Command V, you can delete using the delete key, and you can make new lines using Enter. If your text is too long for one line, it will come to the right side and then wrap to the next line. Now when you're done editing this expression and you want to confirm your changes, do not hit enter. Hitting enter will create new lines and it might break an expression. So instead, to confirm your changes to the expression, just click anywhere outside of this text field. You'll notice that the text is no longer highlighted and we can collapse this up and the expression is saved right here. Okay, so to show you how some of these concepts work, I'm gonna walk through a super quick example. So first, I wanna expand the property I wanna work with. So I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard, and I'm gonna open up and find the Z rotation property. Once this property is expanded, I'm going to Alt-click the stopwatch to add a new expression. Now this text is highlighted by default and ready for me to type. Now I'm gonna use a simple expression here, time times 360, and we'll cover the time attribute later in the course. So now that I'm done with this expression, I'm going to click out of the text field and it's going to save my changes. Now if I scrub the timeline, the rocket's going to rotate one full rotation or 360 degrees for every second in time. Now I can come over here and enable and disable the expression while it's RAM previewing and you'll see the difference between the expressed value here and the original rotation. So this rocket's rotating at one rotation per second, but I want the rocket to slow down a bit. So I'm going to come over here to the expression highlight the 360, and I'm gonna change it to a slower value. Let's go with uh, 180. So now I'm gonna click off the expression field to save my changes. And when I ran preview this, you'll notice that the rocket now goes at half the original speed. 
And finally, I decide I don't want the rocket to rotate around this planet, so I'm going to come over to the Z rotation property and Alt click the stopwatch, which removes the expression, changes the value back to its default color, and removes our expression controls. We've arrived at the end of lesson 103, the complete guide to working with expressions. If you enjoy this expressions course, consider purchasing the paid content. It includes in-depth documentation, extra tutorial content, high-definition videos, and all the project files used in the training. Your purchase will help to create more free courses like this in the future.